Come on, bruh. Exercise a little bit of intelligence, man. So, anytime somebody is uh, speaking in a, in the Bible, especially in Matthew chapter 1, from verse 2 all the way down to verse 16, you have a bunch of sex happening. But you don't see the man and the woman actually having intercourse because that's disgusting. We can be we can be quiet if you would like to show us what you, what you want want to show us. I thought I was trying to show you. Amen. Uh, Danielle, if you can start, start the verse over. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, mm -hmm. of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Right there. So anytime somebody is uh, speaking in a, in the Bible, especially in Matthew chapter one, from verse two all the way down to verse 16, you have a bunch of sex happening, but you don't see the man and the woman actually having intercourse because that's disgusting. Nobody goes around talking about their private lives in the public. So we just talk about the children we created. So when you walk up, you introduce your wife and you introduce your children. And when you do that, the assumption happens that you slept with your wife to produce that child. So when you're reading in Matthew 1 from verse 2 all the way down to verse 16, every man had intercourse to produce the child if not if it must say that then that means you will have to have 17 virgin births prior to christ's virgin birth inside of verse 16 but that is not the clear assumption when you look at the word begat that means of men who father children that's simply what it means so when you read verse 16 it speaks about Jacob begatting Joseph. It didn't say he had intercourse with a woman to produce a child. That's not the verbiage there. It said Jacob begat Joseph. That's what it says. And then when you continue that verse, it says the husband of Mary. So it's not talking about Mary. It's calling Joseph the husband of Mary. Just like calling LeBron James the point guard of the Los Angeles Lakers. It's not talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. It's talking about the point guard of Los Angeles Lakers, which is LeBron James. So all it's saying is Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, which means Joseph, of whom was born Jesus, meaning Joseph, who is called Christ. So Christ comes from Joseph in verse 16 in the first chapter of the New Testament. Can you keep on reading all the way to the very end of the New Testament of Matthew 1, please? And if I do, would that change the, the word of verse 16? Well, go ahead and read it. I'll go ahead and read it. Well, well, all all the way down to the 16. very beginning, 24 and 25, when Joseph woke up, he did as the, Lord, uh, as the Lord's angel had commanded him. He married her, but did not have sexual relations with her until she gave birth to a son. And he named him Jesus. There is no accurate verse where a writer. I just read it. Term. I just read it. Don't be dumb. Read Amir, it. Amir, if you can. He had no you, sexual relations with her until Amir, she gave birth to this child. Can I? Can you allow me to finish? I know. I'm Are you black. gonna read it and not be dumb? I know I'm black, so you're calling me dumb. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. My angel's black, sir. Well, I'm saying I'm black, so can you just stop? So my angel's black. He's higher than you. So can you stop calling a black man dumb? I'm not calling a black man dumb. I'm calling you dumb. Right, that's right. My black saying. angel is not dumb. You're being dumb because you won't read the next of the text. I will read it, but I'm saying you keep interrupting me. Calling Go me ahead and read it. Thank you, sir. Bless you. I, I appreciate it. Um, right here in St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 24. Um, the stupid white I mean, uh, it says, then Joseph. See what you're doing? Great. See what you're doing? I never I used the word black, and now you're using the I word white. So you're just racist, I'm sir. Right. The Lord rebukes you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who was, I was who was, and is, and is to come. But God I'm, Almighty. That's very hypocritical. See, see what you're doing? No, he, he said white. And I never called him a dumb black man. Okay, so he has to pull it up, Corey. Corey, you have to pull it up and you said it. 
then you guys are dumb too because you're avoiding what he said. And I'm not white, okay? I'm part of uh, uh, American Indian, you guys. Okay. Okay, so rebuke your friend, Corey, Dan. Danielle, can you rebuke me, please? I'm going to do, do it right Dan, now. Dan, rebuke Corey for I'm saying I'm white wolf. Amir, I'll rebuke, rebuke Corey. Him. Right Amir, I'm I'll listening. rebuke Corey. I'll rebuke Corey if you mute up right now and stay on mute when I'm talking. Appreciate it. Hey, Corey, from the rest of the conversation, uh -huh. refrain yourself. Yes, sir. From utilizing the tune. I apologize. Dumb white I, 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 I accept it, Corey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amir, I said when I'm talking. Yeah, just watch your tongue, talking, Corey. Thank you. Hold on. Wait, he's, he's rebuking I'm, me. Go ahead, Dan. Right. And Amir, please, first of all, when I'm talking or you see any moderators on stage talking, please go on mute. When it comes to the God First Gang stages, we have a certain level of decorum. As Paul taught, we deal decently and in order. So when you see the moderators talking, you stay on mute, please. That's number one. Number two, you yourself refrain from calling anybody dumb because they don't automatically do what you ask them. There's a certain level level of order that actually goes into these conversations. And it was dumb. It was dumb. It was dumb. You guys all know this, saying that Mary, Mary had sex with Joseph to have Jesus. That's dumb. Okay, and I'll keep on saying it. It's dumb. And I'm glad the replay's on because I'll make a video on this. Thank you. Dumb is dumb, man. That's fine. We just want to read the verse. We only want to read the verse. This is St. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 24. Matter of fact, let's just go back two verses. Verse 22. Now all this was done. So this is what we teach here at God First Game. Reading slow with reading comprehension. Amir didn't know that everything that took place and all the actions that happened already happened in verse 4, 20, verse 24. We're going to read it for her. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. That means the virgin was already with the child. So the action, whatever took place, the Holy Spirit or Joseph or the Most High God or Christ himself, whatever you would like to say, it already took place before verse 24, dumb dumb. Let's keep reading. And she shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. I'll keep reading. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as Amir's black angel, I mean, raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bitten him. So this is the actions that took place after the sleep, Amir, not before the sleep, Amir. All of the things in verse 24 and 25. But if you're talking about sexual intercourse that produced a child, that's up there where I ran. Dumb dumb with the black angel. I'll continue. Well, no, it's not dumb dumb I with the black angel. Oh, no, I wasn't dumb. No, it's not dumb dumb. I'm sorry. I'm here. I'm sorry. The angel never said have sex with Mary. The angel said, don't be fear to take your to take Mary as your wife. The angel did not say, take your wife and have okay, sex I, with her. She's a virgin. What does that mean, okay, dum-dum? But I'm, but I'm sorry. That I means that she never had sex. She is a no, virgin. I just want to finish reading. Dum-dum. Uh, okay, you, you want to call the dum-dum. You want to call the black angel dum-dum. So, come on, man. Are I'll you punch you in the face with the truth, sir. Corey, I'm punching you in the face with the scriptures. Why would you hit anybody? Right, is, Amir, you with the you scriptures. I'm, the, I'm oh, punching you out wait, with the scriptures, wait, and you're lying you, upon the scriptures. Up, why would you Where did the dumb, dumb angel say to Mary to have sex with her? She's I a just, virgin, stupid head. She's a virgin. What does that mean to I'm, you? I'm American, I only want to read the Bible. How stupid, Corey, you are, and all you guys. Amir, to say that question? this virgin Amir, is not a virgin, that's a lie. Amir, can he answer the question? 
He's not answering anything, though. A virgin does not. A virgin is a virgin. Yes or no? Answer the question, Dan. You're confused. Wait. Okay, man. No, you're confused. No. I'll let you write back up when I remind you of the rules. Because I think you're a little bit confused. It's the Edomite in you. It's the pride and the arrogancy of that nation. The title cut you because you realize where it was going. Because what we're really teaching you right now is that no nothing about, about this Bible has anything to do with you. That's what we were about to teach. I put her down, I don't want, because wait. Because she wouldn't stop. Oh. The title okay. was cutting her in spirit. So we're going to let you up, Amir. We're going to let you back up and have this conversation. Yeah. But I already told you the rules. When a moderator is talking, you would stay on mute. And when a person is explaining something, you will let them finish their point. So I'm going to let you back up, Amir, but you're going to follow those rules. Yeah. And, and hey, I'll take oh. Hey, hold on, Deco. I, I will, Dan, I will never follow your rules. You're just a fool, sir. Uh, the Lord true. rebukes you in the name of Jesus. You know, never, you're not accurate never, according never, to the scriptures. Never you are that. a liar. This is, you this are a liar upon the faith. scriptures. You error not knowing the scriptures, not knowing the power of God. All right, so now you finna leave, right? Now that you said that you finna leave, right? <laughs> right? No? All right. I ain't finna leave, leave, Corey. The Lord rebukes all of you guys. You, you, gonna, you guys are okay. such a liar. And that Then you got racism calling me an Edomite. Look at you. You guys are racists. What you, Jesus what said, whosoever receives him gave them power to become the children of God, not by flesh, not by the will of man, but of God. <laughs> this is God's stuff. You guys are making this about racism. And why, how is how is calling somebody an Edom my races? Anyway, I just want to read the scripture. Edom, okay, okay. Where did Edom come from? Where did Edom come from? Oh yeah, Esau. Okay, and why would I be Esau? Because I'm a because I'm an Indian, native Indian. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no, not. not. Okay, okay. Esau, you because... fools. You I'm guys not, do not, not know God. The you are without the Spirit fool. of God. You are no, not in Christ. No, the Lord rebukes you, Satan. Fool. You I'm probably not, rebuke. Oh, you are a fool because the Word of God calls you a fool. Hey, I mean, I you I do not, not believe God. in God. You have not the Spirit of God. Therefore, you are outside of the camp. Come into Christ. Repent of your sins. Believe the gospel. Believe the scriptures that you're even reading. A woman who is a virgin shall conceive by the Holy Spirit. She's a virgin, you guys. She never had sex. That's what a virgin is. Don't be stupid. True. If you have a child... And she's a virgin. She's a virgin. She never knew a man, dear hearts. I love you. I oh, repent you, you in run. the name of you Jesus. Run. You Thank you. You finna run. You finna run. You finna run. You finna run. Oh, you finna right. run. You finna run, Corey. Corey, run. I'll punch you again with the scriptures. Well, I mean, with the oh. scriptures. Oh, she finna Damn. run. She finna run. Run, Corey. You're I the one run. running, Corey. The Lord rebukes you, Satan. Can I ask you one question? Corey, the Lord rebukes you, Satan. I got you. But can I ask you one question before you run? I'm not going to run. Why do you guys always say that? Oh, she's going to run. Oh, he's going to run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Run. Who's running, Corey? You're the one running, Corey. You're projecting upon yourself. There's a certain level, level, level of order that actually goes into these conversations. Do you want me to answer that or no? I do. All right. The reason why is because you're a dumbass who doesn't read the scripture with any type of understanding. When it comes to the God first game stages, we have a certain level of decorum. As Paul taught, we deal decently and in order. I know you're a dumbass in the audience, stupid nigga. Dumbass deco. Number two, you yourself refrain from calling anybody dumb because they don't automatically do what you ask them. Dumbass deco. Come on, bruh. Exercise a little bit of intelligence, man. You gotta educate yourself, man. 
Stop coming with these elementary arguments throwing around, man, for decades, man. It's time to get educated, man.